The music never stopped is a heartwarming true story about a young man who loses his memory after a brain tumour. But it's the music that helps him rediscover his lost memories. I caught up with director Jim Kohlberg and actor Lou Taylor Pucci for a chat. And with them not being able to understand my accent, I started off with something to break the ice. The yeah, worst I've right, ever had is in a bar and a girl's gone to me, yeah, nice fake accent. I'm like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Holy so, shit. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> so did you get a chance to see the film? I did, yes. Okay. How did you kind of get that case study and make that into a film? Well, uh, it, it came to me as a script about two years ago, and the writers had done such a fantastic job adapting the case, stu case study called The Last Hippie from, from Oliver Sacks. The writers uh, were yes, amazing, I and they wrote, it, they wrote it 12 years ago, and it sat on a shelf, wow. and him picking it up, you know, it took somebody who was going to have the gall to execute it and put those, that music into it and find a way to get that music. So with the music, how did you get all of these kind of songs and, I mean, this well, is like uh, the, the history of rock and roll, <laughs> like, yes. you know, the soundtrack is going to be probably one of the greatest rock and roll albums, you know. Awesome. Uh, you know, like everything, was really lucky. We, uh, I, I called a music supervisor I'd worked with before in a couple of other films. She sent it to the Dylan camp and the Dead camp and they fell in love with the idea of music as healing, as therapy. Uh, you know, they came from a generation where when they were in their 20s, the, the adults thought that was devil music, you know? I mean, I think my favorite part of the movie was when Gabriel hears the Beatles, All You Need Is Love, you need is love for the first time and the, the expression on your face and <laughs> the way that you, you just knew he just loved that song. Yeah. Personally for you two, is there a song that you think like, well that's my song? For like. me? I, I know this sounds ridiculous, but um, <laughs> I really can't even imagine another song. It, that song would take me out of that, you yeah. know, because it's a song about connection. Mm -hmm. It's a song about waking up, mm -hmm. a song about simplicity. It's all you need is love, it's it. It's yeah. a connection to something else. So I mean, for me, I can't think of anything better. You know, I, it could you know? have been a Dylan song, could have been a B Born to Run, it could have been uh, Like mm -hmm. a Rolling Stone. So many different songs that just charge me up and bring me up to life. It was based 20 odd years ago. Yeah. Did you find it hard to get into that music since as it wasn't your kind of generation? Oh no, no, no. I, it is my generation. I mean, like, I know it sounds ridiculous, but we're, I mean, yeah. we're sort of part of the mm -hmm. pocket omniscience generation. The, the generation where we can get anything on Google and all music is totally in our face at all yeah. times, you know? Yeah, so, but, uh, and like, and for then for you, Jim, is that like, was that like taking a step back into, into your youth and? Um, I was a little bit later than that, but I mean, that, that, the music of the 60s and that gen that the, the guys who grew up in the 60s, I was always really jealous and envious um, of them. So it was kind of my moment to kind of experience it myself. Yeah, me too. Um, um, I never thought we'd be able to get it made with this, the soundtrack, uh, these performances from this great ensemble of actors and J.K. Simmons did an incredible job. Yeah. Lou did. Yeah, yeah. J.K. Lou, Lou took a challenging it. part and just nailed it. Um, it's just been a great pleasure. Well, guys, it was a great film, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I appreciate both your time. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Just yeah. tell everybody, March 18th. Medication. I've got the bag. I've got the brain tumor.